Okay, welcome everybody. Thank you, thank you for being here. Appreciate you taking the time to come over and be here and recognize the senior student athletes, which is it's an awesome accomplishment. Typically, you guys don't know this because you, you, you've done this, it's been a year and a half ago, but typically what we do is we have this event in a large banquet hall with about 150, 200 people. And we call it the Night of Impact, and it's an evening where we induct our Hall of Fame class and also bring all of our senior student athletes to that banquet and then bring them up and recognize our, our senior student athletes. So it's a fantastic night. It's a big crowd. It's certainly a different venue than where we're sitting right now. But the venue's not important. What's important is that we take the time to recognize and congratulate our senior student athletes. That's what's important. Not the room that we do it in, not the meal that the company's at. It's, it's about recognizing senior student athletes. Being a student athlete is incredibly challenging. And you guys know this. You, you're on this journey right now being a student athlete. You've done this journey of being a student athlete. And we all know, even myself as a former student athlete, it's, it's a little bit of a roller coaster ride emotionally. Right? There's a lot of ups and downs to being a student athlete. There's times when you sit in your residence hall and you go, why am I doing this? Do I really want to do this, right? How many, everybody's asked themselves that question at one point. And there's other times where you're on that journey of a student athlete and you just can't think of anything but, like it's, it's the greatest thing ever, right? And so it's, it's, it's a challenge to manage that roller coaster of emotions you go through as a student athlete. It's a challenge to dig deep and find the grit and the persistence and the determination Right, to fulfill all those obligations that come with being a student athlete. But what you walk away with is a couple things. One, you can say you completed the journey. When you tell your story someday, when these guys tell their story someday, they can talk about the fact they completed it. Because I don't know how many of you have talked to other people who have been involved in college athletics, and I've heard this so many times. Well, I played for a year, and then I quit. Or I could have did it, but I change my mind and decide not to. Right? I hear those stories all the time. And I'm like, that doesn't sound like a really great story to tell. I like the story where I started it, I endured it, I had some highs, I had some lows, but you know what? I finished it. Like I got finished it. And so that, those lessons that you learn being a part of a team, being a, part, being a collegiate student athlete, are experiences, are traits, are skills that will transcend time. There, there's things that you're going to lean on in your personal life, in your professional life, and you can tell that story, you can tell it a ton of pride. So we're here to recognize today that story. We're here to recognize those individuals who have completed that journey and have done it well. And so that's, that's why we're here. So irregardless of the venue, congratulations and thank you for what you've done for Muskingum University and Muskingum University Athletics. You're part of the Long Magenta Line. And when you're a part of that, that means you're always welcome back. So we want to encourage you when you leave, just because you graduate and you leave Muskingum, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't continue to be engaged with Muskingum. We hope you're engaged in Muskingum University for years and years and years to come. Okay? You're, always, you're always welcome back. Okay? So again, thank you. It's an honor to have you here. Thank you for what you've done. And for you guys that are still going through the journey, hang in there. Because someday you want to be able to say, I completed the journey. I did. I finished. I finished it, and I finished it well, and I finished it the way it was supposed to be finished, right? And that's something you all, that's a story you carry with you for the rest of your life. That's a story that never leaves you. So uh, make sure you can tell the right story. And you guys got so congratulations to, to you. Thanks, fellas. Uh, thank, thank you, you know, first of all, for everything that, that you guys gave this program. Um, like I told you guys the other day in our, in our last uh, team meeting, you guys definitely left the Skangham football in a better place than, than when you found it. Right, and that, that I can say with a lot of confidence. Um, took in a new head coach, took in a new staff, right? You know, somebody that, that didn't recruit, recruit you, um, bought into the new program, bought in a new way of doing things, and, and, and did a heck of a job of leading uh, the younger guys, showing what is expected um, of everybody. Our first year, right, we went four and six, and that was the best record in 15 years, right? First year together, all right, best record in 15 years. Um, the Otterbein game was, was certainly really memorable. Um, you know, Beating beat them first time in 15 years. The uh, Heidelberg game, um, getting after that, and getting after those guys was great. First time in nine years. All right, so it's a, this is really awesome things that haven't been done here uh, in a long time. All right, and then, and then you had a crazy, crazy senior year, COVID. All right, going through everything that you had to go through and endure 
um, you know, th this year, um, you know, in staying positive, had, had a month, you know, between games, um, you know, after you know, battling the number one team in the country, pretty darn, pretty darn good, well, um, put up the most points uh, against Mountain by Muskingum team since 1999. Um, beat Otterbein, you know, in a, obviously a great way for, for all you guys to go out. Beat them two out of the last three times, first time since 2002, 2003. All right, so you, you, you guys did a lot of things, but but more importantly than that, than, than the wins is is you guys really changed the culture here, right? and, and started um, you know started started the future success of, of this program really, and um, you guys made it cool to be on the 3.0 board, okay? To take academics seriously, and, and as I told the team the other day, all these guys right are were on the 3.0 board. Right, and they're all graduate. All right, so um, obviously huge cor correlation. So again, thank you for taking me in, accepting me as your, your head coach, fellas, um, and uh, thank you for you know everything that you poured into this program, all the blood, sweat, and tears into this program. And again, the future of this game of football is bright because of you guys. So now I'm gonna go go through. Um, you just go ahead and do some. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So uh, first, first I'll go uh, Nehemiah Bowie. All right, linebacker from Westerville. Uh, Columbus Crusaders and uh, business management major, minor in communications, is uh, you know worked in multiple jobs, involved in everything on campus, all all academic OAC, um, four year starter, led the defense this year with 30 tackles um, in, in this spring, president of the uh, Muskingum Black Student Union, vice president of SAC, football team captain, loves Muskingum, great great leader, teammate, um, and uh, will be starting his coaching career. Uh, this uh, this fall coaching the safeties at Denison. So appreciate it. You uh, next, uh, I have uh, Drew Lowry. Drew uh, was a D lineman from uh, Toronto, uh, Ohio, and uh, he graduated um, this this uh, past December. So um, he unfortunately wasn't able to you know finish out playing you know with with you guys. But you guys all know how hard Drew worked and how much he invested in this program. Um, criminal justice major, um, was on our leadership council, played with the great motor, multiple year starter, and was uh, really one of the best work ethics that, that we had on the team. Great weight room guy. And uh, Drew just started uh, boot camp uh, for the Army uh, this past week. So, Drew Lowry. <laughs> Next is uh, Cam Near, running back uh, from Sedalia, Ohio, Madison Plains High School. Health and uh, Administration Marketing Major, uh, member of SAC, uh, multiple year member of SAC, multiple year starter at running back, receiver, special teams, did it all for us. Had a, uh, 113 uh, yards rushing this spring, led the team in receptions, 14 catches, 140 yards, two touchdowns. Um, had a heck of a game in, in, our, in our last uh, win against uh, Otterbein. Um, always, always a solid player, always dependable in everything he does. Uh, out, he's, um, when he's graduating here, he's going to be outside sales and marketing manager for Midwestern Electrical Supply. Came here. Appreciate it. <laughs> Next is uh, Jared Patton, partner right, from Washington Courthouse, Ohio, Washington High School, business management major. Um, he was honorable mention, all OEC partner in, in 2019. Average uh, 38.2 yards per punt, had a career long of uh, 71 yards per punt. Um, you know, has played multiple positions: played quarterback, played receiver. Um, you know, special teams. Uh, great kid, always great attitude, great work ethic. Appreciate everything, Jared. <laughs> Next we have uh, Ben Singer, defensive uh, lineman from Mount Gilead, Ohio, Northmore Local High School, uh, conservation science. Uh, major, um, you know, got got in, get into the uh, rivalry game against Marietta this year, which uh, which was awesome. He is the ultimate teammate. Uh, love to play the game, all right. Love, you know, just love love to get out there. It didn't matter practice, whatever. He was always going hard. Uh, great in the weight room. One of the hardest working scout team players that we've ever had. Which which that 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 is super impressive because that shows the type of character you know that you have, Ben. Um, Plans to get a uh, full-time job with the ODN, the ODNR Division of Wildlife, and work on a master's degree in fisheries biology. 
Appreciate everything, Ben.